Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Fix. My name is Peter Loshek. It's week 13 in college football, and today is Tuesday, uh, November 21st, and we are talking with Al McMorty from BigAl.com. We're going to take a look at the Ohio State Michigan game. Al McMorty, thanks for being back with us. Obviously, Ohio State, uh, since their loss to, uh, to Iowa, has absolutely dominated. Kind of inferior competition. Uh, they got a big cover against Michigan State because Michigan State was getting a decent amount of line respect. But despite blowing out Illinois, they didn't get an ATS win in that one. They did not, in the end, cover their 41, their massive 41 point spread against Illinois. Now they're going up against Michigan, though, and uh, Michigan has not been that great ATS overall on the year either. They're coming off a loss to Wisconsin. They're kind of banged up uh, in general. They've been kind of banged up uh, the past bunch of weeks and heading into the Wisconsin game, they were kind of banged up. But I'm thinking that Ohio State, you know, when they're a 41 point favorite, that's not really the kind of uh, spot I look to bet on them. But in this spot, giving just 11 to a banged up Michigan team, maybe Ohio State's a great bet here at minus 11. Is that what you think? Well, you know, before I get into my analysis of this game, when I was doing my research last night, I came across what I think to be one of the craziest stats I've seen in a while. Would you believe that Michigan, when they've been installed as an underdog of plus four or more points, they have now lost straight up 20 times in a row? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, Michigan usually gets a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of program respect and line respect. So I guess when they're installed as an underdog, there's real good reason for it. And they should be an even bigger underdog, right? Well, no, I mean, but, but I'm just saying by now in those 20 games, they're five and 15 against a spread. But a lot of those games, more than half, they were an underdog. It wasn't like they were double digit underdogs. They were underdogs of, you know, plus four to plus seven points. I mean, how do you lose 20 games in a row? I mean, you know, the Cleveland Browns would do better than that. That's all yeah. I'm saying. It's, 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 no, it's just, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I think and it's three. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly a statistical, uh, you know, an outlier there. But at the same time, I think there is something behind it. I mean, when a team, when a, when a marquee program like that is an underdog, uh, you know, it tends to be, it's probably the case that they should be an even bigger underdog because uh, people just don't like to, uh, to, to, it's just hard for people to wrap their heads around uh, how much of a disadvantage a program like that might be at, right? Yeah, but I, I think at, at some point you've got, you've got to win these games straight up. You've got to, you know, step up to the plate and, you know, and, and, and pull an upset. That's the shocking thing to me. Um, three of those 20 games were in the Jim Harbaugh era, so it doesn't really fall at his feet as much as Brady Hoke and the other coaches, but still 20 in a row is 20 in a row. Uh, that being said, you know, the Wolverines are a huge home underdog in this game, even though they are eight and three on the season. And the last thing I think one should ever do is lay double digits on the road to a quality club. Mm -hmm. Indeed, if you go back to 1980, Double-digit home underdogs have gone 98 and 61 against the spread if they owned a 700 or better uh, record on the year, provided it was at game four of the season forward. So I don't think that bodes well for Ohio State laying the 11 and a half points here. The other thing is that college football teams playing their final home game of the season, they've cashed 59.3% of the time over the past 38 years, if they were getting more than a touchdown and had a win percentage of 666 or better. So I'm gonna take Michigan plus the points, but I still think it's crazy that they can't seem to win any of these games straight up, but I do think they'll cover. All right, well, we can give you, it is a split line, 11 or 11 and a half. So uh, we can credit you with, uh, let's find line shopping here at sbrodds.com. Yeah, plus 11 and a half, uh, minus 110. And I, I see where you're coming from, Al, just looking over at how Michigan has done. I mean, when they've stepped up in competition, they really have gotten soundly beaten. Last week, of course, they uh, they lost uh, by two touchdowns to Wisconsin and didn't cover against Penn State. They got absolutely blown out. I guess you could say that their home game against Michigan State, but they were a 13-point favorite there. and They lost that game outright. And Ohio State, except for their uh, blowout loss against Iowa, obviously, uh, has absolutely dominated the teams that they played on the road. Those were Indiana, Rutgers, and Nebraska, obviously uh, inferior competition to Michigan. But still, I don't know. I see where you're coming from. Feels to me, though, like Ohio State might actually wind up being the play here. I don't know. You might have a, a good shot here, though, with uh, Michigan getting disrespected, getting double digits at home. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it, it, it obviously is a little bit nerve wracking to see that Michigan can't win these games straight yeah. up when they are stepping up in class, but I'm still going to take the points and I, I think Michigan's going to sneak in under the number. All right, Michigan plus 11 and a half minus 110 is the current best line uh, across the uh, across the market. Al McCourty, tell us what you do at your website, BigAl.com. Well, we win money. You know, mm -hmm. I've been absolutely on fire of late. You know, we are now for the entire NBA season on our top rated plays, rated three stars or higher. We're 10 and four. We're 13 and four in hockey on our top rated plays. And football 
57 and 42 on our top rated uh, college and pro football selections rated uh, three stars or higher. We're also 14 and two over the past two seasons on our college football conference games of the year. We're gonna have our big 10 game of the year and our big 12 conference game of the year on this weekend. So folks can go to bigal.com and click on subscriptions to join. We have weekly, monthly, six month and annual packages. We also have individual picks for sale. And then we have complimentary selections every day at the website. Just go to bigal.com, click on free picks. We have four free winners every day Two for myself, one from Larry Ness, and one from Scott Spritzer. Great. Thanks so much, Alec Morty. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.